Hi guys, I am back. And so today we're gonna talk about not being moved by what we see. And when I say that, I actually mean not being moved by the rejection notices from USA Jobs. What I mean is also getting the phone call from HR or the manager, if you hear anything at all, that they chose another candidate. Um, what I also mean is not hearing back from HR or the managers when you send that thank you email. You know, it gets a little bit daunting and frustrated frustrating and you want to give up. I had a subscriber respond up under one of my uh, videos and she said she, she had did 75 applications on USA Jobs and just was not able to get in. But I really wanted to go back to her and say, did you go through the job announcement and pick out those key phrases and insert them into the resume, weave them in naturally with the work that you've already done? Like, for example, it says, you know, processed um, administrative reports on a regular basis. You know, you can say, um, as an award-winning program analyst, I processed and managed administrative documents and paperwork in the areas of travel, supplies, and also facilities. You know, so you have to interweave those key phrases from USA Jobs so the scanner, the optical reader can pick up your resume and hit ping on, on those key words that you've used, those key phrases, you know, because when you, you might not be able to do, to do all of the things that it may describe within uh, the job announcement on USA Jobs, but as long as you can do 80%, you know, eight out of the 10 things that they may list, you know, four out of the five, most of the duties, I would say, go ahead and apply. I would say, go ahead and apply. So these are a few tricks of the trade that I've learned over the years. And I was in the same boat as this, um, one of my subscribers that said they had applied to 75. I had did like a hundred and couldn't get anything, you know? And so it is, it is very hard. It's very challenging. I had um, another one of my subscribers call into a 1-800 conference call that I did probably about two or three years ago and told me they had gotten the, the job description. You know, they had read the announcement. They had put their keywords in and they still didn't hear anything. You know, but my thing is don't give up. I actually did an internship with another federal agency here in the DC area. And I had one of their top managers just to meet me over lunch and we sat outside and she went over my resume. She went over my resume and marked it up, you know, so they know the inside people, they know what they're looking for. These inside managers, they know, you know, and I had a director one time send me his email, his resume before he made it into the senior executive service, which is SES. That's one level above the GS pay scale. That's above the GS 15 uh, level, which is, you know, over six figures as far as salary is concerned. And they just sent me their resume, you know, so they do that. People that really want to help you, they will help you out. They will help you out. And no, I've never had a business card from none of my federal agencies, but I have been able to get promoted and stay in the federal government and excel in my federal government career. You know, when I meet people, that's one of the first things they ask. Are you a federal employee? You know, because I tell them I teach on federal employment on my YouTube channel. You know, and they, that's the first thing they want to know. Are you a federal employee? Do you know what you're talking about? And I'm like, yes, I do. I've been in this. I've done this. My videos are tried and true, meaning that people that have watched my video said that I helped them to get a promotion. I helped them get a federal job. And that's what I'm on here to do, to help you to do the same thing, if that's what you want. If you've prayed about this thing and God has told you, this is the career path I want you to take to be a public servant, to be a federal employee, go for it. 
And sometimes it may take more than 75 applications to do it. In my case, it took more than 100 applications to get me in. I had no clue what I was doing. But I tell you one thing, I didn't give up. I didn't give up. I did not give up. And a lot of times with uh, these careers that people pick across the world, a lot of times they do what their parents did, you know, because that was my sentiment. That's what happened with my case. You know, my father was a federal employee. My mom was a federal employee. And so as their adult children, you know, I took on that same path, you know, and I was out in Georgia applying you know, trying to understand the USA job system and had no clue. I needed a seal the deal one, amen. I needed these videos that I'm making right now. And another one of my subscribers had said, oh, I wish I would have seen your video years ago, years ago about not telling my coworkers my business. You know, and he just made some other comments. I won't repeat it, but you know, it's out there on the internet. You know, it wasn't anything bad about me, but nevertheless, you can't give up. You can't be moved by what you see, you know. And another tip is these jobs, they're closing before the due date. They're closing before the due date. That's another tip. You know, when you see a hot job, you, you got to get on it right then and there because they get hundreds of applications and they're tired of going through all of that stuff. They're closing. Sometimes they'll say this job announcement will close after we get the first 50 applicants. So and I've had that happen. I set it on my calendar, you know, thinking I'm doing something, reminding myself, OK, day before the uh, job application closes and then when I go back resume ready to submit the job is gone the job is gone so you know they've changed the way they they do things uh, on USA jobs they didn't used to have the event sections down there you know and you guys know that's the way I get most of my jobs is through, is through job fairs you know, and another girl that I used to know, she commented about that comment that I just made. And she was like, you know, your personality is, is big. It's, it's big. And, you know, that's the way God made me, you know, so I'm able to communicate. Amen. It's a gift from God. I'm able to communicate effectively to these job uh, employers, these managers, and God just touches them and like, bam. This is the person that I need. Seal the deal one is the person that I need. And I'm not leaving this job fair basically until she's hired because that's what happened with my last job. You know, I was walking in there and, you know, it, it was an IT job fair. I've told this story before, but for my new people, um, it was an IT job fair and they said, you know, ma'am, we're not looking for program analysts or, or administrative workers. We're looking for IT specialists. And as I was walking out of the job fair, I got a phone call. Hey, Amen. Keep your cell phones turned on because you don't know the day nor the hour, as the Bible says. You don't know when your name is going to be called. So I pick up all phone calls, honey. I pick them up and I'm just like, hello, professionally. Hey, Amen, somebody. And they were calling me back in for an interview at 5 p.m. in the afternoon after I had walked to every booth at the job fair. And I didn't know what I was going into, what job or anything. I just went back in because God has called me to be a federal employee. Amen, somebody. God has called me to be a public servant. Amen, somebody. God has called me. And shout out to Dr. Fauci, who's done an excellent job with uh, this pandemic. I uh, just read on uh, Federal News Now and make sure you are subscribed to those um, newsletters because you'll get all of the um, input and everything that's happening on the federal government. The Juneteenth holiday, I knew about it before it was released um, by my agency. You know, I knew what was going on before it hits. So, um, we appreciate you, Dr. Fauci. Uh, we thank you for everything that you've done. Um, he's leaving his uh, federal career or federal position as the infectious disease uh, director and moving on to something new. I didn't know what, but the uh, email did say that. So we appreciate all your work that you've done for the federal government and people around the world. I just had to throw that in there. 
So, you know, I walked back in and for whatever reason, he didn't want to hire me, but he passed my resume along to somebody else. And I, you know, went to work, but God said, put your, put your business suit in your car. I don't know why God told me to do that, but I listened. And so next thing I know, 10 o'clock, HR was calling me again. They said, hey, we want you to come back down to the job fair. It's the second day. We, we have someone that wants to interview you. I went back, you know, I told my job I had to go. Um, I got changed and everything in the bathroom. And I was driving back down there because at that time I was a federal contractor and I wanted to get back into the federal government. God will turn a situation around, won't he? Amen. When it's your time and if it's your destiny that God has created for you, he'll turn that thing around and put you right back into the federal government. I didn't let no stop me. Amen, somebody. I didn't let the people at the job fair tell me or turn me around when they said we were only looking for IT specialists. You see? So I went on back in and, you know, we basically closed the deal right there in the, um, in the interview, you know, and he was like, okay, well, you know, your position is going to be this and, you know, this is the payment that we're going to give you. And when he told me the payment, I said, I've been at that level for five years, you know, so don't do that. But <laughs> he got the picture. And so I got that promotion. Amen. <laughs> I got that promotion and, and don't stay at a position or at a level for five years. Like I did shoot for the stars after two years or, you know, a year and a half or whenever God is telling you to move on. Um, and, and, God wanted me to be at that position for five years, so I'm not going to uh, be hard on myself, but you know, that, that was my journey. Amen. That was my journey. And it's made me the award winning federal employee that I am today, Lord. And I, I'm not ashamed of it. So I did get my point across that probably wasn't the way to do it. And I got what I needed and what I deserved. Um, so it did not turn him off. Amen, somebody. Because if that wasn't a God appointed assignment, I would have probably gotten a no. And even if I did get a no on that day and I didn't get my promotion in my last position, the no wouldn't have stopped me because I'm not moved by what I see. I'm not moved by what I hear. Amen. I'm not moved by that. When someone say, no, you know, we ended up going with this person or no, you know, we, we wanted you for the manager role, but all of your references said that you were too young to manage. Amen. I've gotten that, you know, and so I had to definitely go back and change my references and, and got new people. That's OK. You know, so you have those speed bumps, you have those speed bumps, but keep going. Because my subscribers, the people that watch my videos, we're not moved by what we see. We're not moved by what we hear. We make adjustments. We don't stop. We go over the speed bump, but this time, you know, we make sure we have our seatbelt on. Amen. This time, we make sure, you know, our windshield is washed off and clearer. So we're able to focus on what we need to focus on and change what we need to change. So I, I just want to leave you with that, you know, labor to stay in rest, labor to stay in rest. And so what I mean by that is, you know, get your praise music on, you know, while you're applying for these jobs, you know, don't get, try not to get stressed out, you know, read scriptures on peace. Amen. Because we serve a God that is the Prince of peace and he will give you peace. He's given me peace in the times where I'm just like, ah. I want to be back in the federal government. And I didn't know how it was going to happen. But God, you know, would give me, me these inner nudges. And he told me to look at the event section on the USA Jobs website and study that thing. So when your job fair comes in there, when you see a job fair, you know, in your area, he told me to just go. And that's the easiest way for me 
to get federal positions. And so it's just been a gift uh, from the Lord. And it's just been an honor to be able to serve him in these federal positions. And I don't take it lightly. I don't take it lightly. I love what I do. I love teaching people about what I've done over in my career and, you know, giving the, giving you guys the tips and the tricks of the trade, you know, so you can go higher than me. You can go above me. Amen. And we can do this thing together. So again, don't be moved by what you see. Don't get down. You know, look up those scriptures on joy. Keep them close. You know, read them every morning. God has got me uh, in a certain section on a certain word. And I've just been reading it over and over every morning. Scriptures with that word in it until it manifests in the real world. Amen. So I love you guys. I hope you got something from this video and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.